Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. My name is Ty Wolf. I'm here to share a painting tip with you this time. Bet you all weren't expecting that, were you? So I just got another DIY effect pedal build kit from Build Your Own Clone. I'm building the TS9 clone again, it's the Ibanez Tube Screamer. Just this time I'm not building it with any of the optional mods that you can do to it. I just want an original style Tube Screamer. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to try out a new painting technique that has been all the rage within the past few years. It's called hydro dipping. I've seen a few videos on it before. I'm sure you've probably seen some videos on it too. I've seen my friend paint some stuff by hydro dipping and he's making it look pretty, pretty darn cool. So uh, I thought I'd try it out for myself. Hydro dipping is a method of painting where you spray paint onto the surface of water and then submerge an object in the water. The paint will stick to the object as it passes through the surface, leaving a cool pattern and an even coat of paint as you pull it out. This method is also done with certain kinds of printed sheet material, I think is vinyl, but I'm not sure. Um, for now, we'll just worry about the paint though. So here is the unpainted project enclosure, fresh out of the package, shiny and new. The very first thing I did was clean every part of the surface that I'm painting thoroughly with rubbing alcohol. I should mention too that I'm handling everything with gloves so I don't leave any oily residue or foreign substances from my fingers. It may not seem that important, but the tiniest little issue at this point could cause imperfections in the paint when it's finished. Paint is very picky sometimes. But I wasn't very concerned with being perfect this time with this being my first time hydro dipping. It definitely shows in the end result, but now I know it's do better next time. And that, folks, is what it's all about. Next step is spraying the primer. For this time, I just used regular Rust-Oleum white spray paint just to establish a base coat and an even color for the Hydro Dip paint to adhere to. Using the right primer is very important. I've been a house painter by trade for several years, and being in that line of work has taught me some important things. One of the most important is to always use the right kind of primer for the job. There are many to choose from. You just have to pick the one that is designed for the type of surface that you're painting, metal, plastic, or what have you, and also designed for the type of top coat that you're applying, whether it's an oil base or a water base. But sometimes you can cheat and get away with some regular white paint for primer instead, which is what I choose to do with this pedal enclosure. It's definitely not the professional, correct way to do things, but you can do it. It'll be fine. So I wasn't that concerned with hydro dipping the bottom panel of the enclosure, so I decided to spray my other colors on there kind of random and then hit it with some clear coat and call it finished just like that. You can see my method is kind of haphazard here. I just wanted to give it a little variation with two colors and a little nice pattern to it. Now it's down to the serious business of the hydro dipping itself. I have a decent sized plastic tote filled about halfway with water alternating between black, white, and red. I spray directly onto the surface of the water near the center of the container. The more times you switch and spray a different color, the more intricate patterns you should get on your paint job. I basically just find a spot on the surface where the paint looks cool and I dip the enclosure in, starting with the protruding edge corner and steadily working the rest of it down into the water. Once the enclosure is submerged fully, then I just swirl away the rest of the color on the surface so no additional paint is collected on the way back out. Just let the water drain a little bit and the hydro dipping is done. Now one of my biggest regrets of this whole project is I didn't get every little droplet of water off after I dipped and as the paint dried around these droplets, I, it left little bubble shaped imperfections. It's an abstract piece anyway, so I'm not losing any sleep over it. In fact, it actually adds to my abstract appearance, so we'll just call that one a happy accident and we'll move on. You'll also notice that I added a couple little plastic handles to hold the enclosure while I dip it. I'm sure there are many ways to achieve this. Mine are just duct taped to the inside, real simple like. Now the proper time to add these handles was actually before I sprayed the primer coat. It was pretty hard to move the enclosure and detach the handles without damaging the primer coat and I actually had to touch up a few spots off camera. So next you can see me spraying the clear coat. First on the back panel that I spray painted earlier, and then on the main enclosure that we just hydro dipped. So as you can tell, my video didn't turn out as super high quality as I would have liked. I filmed it on my phone camera, which is usually not the best choice, but here we go. Basic spray painting technique. I'm holding the can about 12 inches from the surface, 
moving my hand the entire time I'm spraying to avoid any heavy buildup in specific areas. I start spraying away from the object that I'm painting and make passes across the surface at a steady speed, overlapping my strokes. The clear coat that I got can be recoated at any time and recommends you apply a few light coats a few minutes apart. This could be different depending on what product you choose. Just remember to read the directions and follow what it says on the can, and you should do just fine. Anyway, here is the finished result. Now I need to reiterate, these types of paint jobs are very hard to get perfect. A little oil from your fingers, a few random specks of dust, a hair from the cat, a tiny bug walking across the surface. There are just so many little things that can come through and ruin your paint job, or at least prevent it from being 100% perfect. Absolute control over the painting environment and cleanliness are essential here. You can decide what level of perfection you're going for and how much work you want to put in and all that. All in all, I think it looks pretty cool though and I'll definitely be trying this again in the future, for sure. And, you know, I'm not super proud of it, but I thought it would be cool to make a video out of the process and hopefully this will inspire a few other people to get out there and try some hydro dipping of their own. Anyway, that's all I have to say for this time. Stay tuned to the channel, I'll be rolling out more videos like this one, I'll be rolling out more cover songs, more original songs, a little bit of musical motivation, a little bit of songwriting tips, I do a lot of different things over here, so uh, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button, click like on this video, I hope you stick around, and I hope you watch some more of my stuff. And that being said, I hope you all have fun out there, see you next time.